Ty Tribbett was on the Breakfast Club. And I saw like the first portion of what he was saying and I it didn't really sit right with me. Um, so I want to watch the full kind of clip from Ty Tribbett on the Breakfast Club. Let me see if I can find it. He was basically saying that like the church is whack and, um, you know, the religion is whack and all this type of stuff. So let me pull this up real quick. Let me see. Ty Tribbett Breakfast Club. Okay, I think it's this one right here. Let's see. I think the institution of church is whack. I mm -hmm. think how church is ran is whack. I think the religious system and structure is whack. I don't subscribe to it, even though I grew up in it, I benefited from it, but I learned that God is not the church. And once right. I realized, whoa, God ain't church. That mm -hmm. uh, For me, you know what I mean? I ain't from the streets. I'm from the church. So that was a huge thing as well. It's in the yeah. Bible. It says you can't even find God in a man-made temple. Why, mm -hmm. why don't we read that, though? Mm -hmm. how, how often do you hear that sermon? No, you hear people, pastors make the people about the church. We got the church name. We church and the church and the bumper sticker, the church. The church, <laughs> the church should be about the people. Yeah, yeah, the church yeah. should be about the people. But yeah. the church makes the people about the church. So all churches now are a move. Uh, I'm going to have to listen to this again because I'm kind of confused. But they're not about the people. They're not about serving and loving the people. Mm -hmm. I think the institution of church is whack. I mm -hmm. think how church is ran is whack. I think the religious system and structure is whack. I don't subscribe to it, even though I grew up in it. I benefited from it. But I learned that God is not the church. And once right. I realized, whoa. God ain't church. That mm -hmm. uh, For me, you know what I mean? I ain't from the streets. I'm from the church. So that was a huge thing as well. It's in the yeah. Bible. It says you can't even find God in a man-made temple. Why, mm -hmm. why don't we read that, though? Mm -hmm. how, how often do you hear that sermon? No, you hear people, pastors make the people about the church. We got the church name. We church and the church and the bumper sticker, the church. The church, <laughs> the church should be about the people. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, the church yeah. should be about the people, but yeah. the church makes the people about the church. So all churches now are a movement. But they're not about the people. They're not about serving and loving the people. Hmm. I, I get what the essence of what he's trying to communicate. I just don't think that's the right platform to communicate those ideas because that's not a platform that has been shown to support Jesus Christ. It's just not. So when you're having those types of conversations, like those, that's that's kind of like family business. You know what I'm saying? Like there are certain conversations that you have with your family that you wouldn't necessarily have with other people who, who aren't in that dynamic because they don't understand the nuance and they don't understand the essence of what you're trying to communicate. So it's hard to really break that down and really flesh it out to the level that it needs to be, you know, broken down. Um, I, there was a response. There was a response that I saved. Let me play this real quick. There's two responses. So this first response, Pastor Mike Jr., here it is. I heard an interview from Ty Tribbett on The Breakfast Club, and I get what he was trying to... Hold on. I don't know if I can do this with the music. Hold on. Pastor Mike Jr. Let me see if I can find this just without the music because it's going to be an issue. Pastor Mike Jr. Ty Tribbett. Morning, I heard an interview from Ty Tribbett. Why is it all? Why do they all have music on it? Like just post the clip just by itself. Hey, what's up, everybody? Oh, my goodness gracious. Did he post this on Instagram? Hold on. Let me see. I'm assuming he posted on Instagram. Pastor Mike Jr. Bro, this is crazy. I just want the video without the music behind it. You know, like we live in this generation where everyone has ADHD. We can't even listen to somebody speak unless there's like a beat behind it. Pastor Mike Jr. 
even at church. It's like, bro, we we don't need a uh, we don't need beats behind everything. <laughs> I just want to hear what he's saying. Ty Tribbett, Pastor Ty Tribbett. There we go. Um, oh my goodness gracious, bro. Okay, I guess I just I'll just play it. I'll just play it. Let's go. I heard an interview from Ty Trippett on The Breakfast Club, and I get what he was trying to say, but he made a statement that was very irresponsible on the wrong platform. He said the church is whack. How can you go on a national platform and totally throw under the bus the very institution that made you who you are? You, sir, had an opportunity to shine God's light, to push people back into the place of healing, but instead you wanted to feel cool. You could have been a light. You could have told people, man, falling in love with God was the best thing I've ever done. And I found the right church. Go find the right church. You don't know who's going to take that statement and walk away from a church that could have really impacted their lives. My church isn't perfect. There is no perfect church. Just like there's no perfect restaurant. There's no perfect radio show. Everybody falls short. Mm -hmm. I literally met you in church. Meeting you changed my life forever. The church is not whack. The church is alive and well mm -hmm. across all denominations. We're seeing a hunger for God like never before. I don't know about you, but if it wasn't for God, if it wasn't for the church, I wouldn't be here. The devil thought he had me. Mm. Somebody said in the comments. Um, Tanya. Tanya said. Ty Tribbett was completely right about what he was saying. It's about having a relationship with God, not the church. And here you go trying to discredit what he was saying, shaking my head. Yeah, but this is exactly what I'm like. You, we have to be very careful how we act amongst non-believers. And that's what the Bible says. We have to be very mindful of our words, our actions when we are amongst non-believers because there's some things that they're just not going to be able to understand. They're going to hear Ty Tribbett talking about how the church is whack, and they're automatically going to equate the church to God. And they're going to say, well, oh, God is whack, so I shouldn't be going to church. I shouldn't be seeking God. I shouldn't be seeking Christ. Let me just go back to my old, my old ways. Let me go back to my sin. Let me go back to that lifestyle. There's some people who are going to take it that way. Obviously, you and I are not going to take it that way because we're more mature in our relationship with Christ and we can kind of discern what he was trying to say. But I think his statements on that specific platform was irresponsible because that's not a platform that's going to give him any additional pushback on those statements. Now, granted, I didn't even watch the full interview. Let me see if I can pull it up on YouTube the Breakfast Club, they be copyright striking. Like, you know how Oprah was giving out cars? That's how they be giving out copyright strikes. So I don't even think I can play it. But let me see if I can finesse it a little bit and kind of get around it. Let me see. um, Because I do want to see where exactly things went off the rails here. I'm a truck driver. I'm telling y'all. You are wonderful, God. I'm trying to find a specific part so we don't have to go all jump around. Finding God outside the church. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find the full thing, to be honest with you. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. Is there a more? I just want a little bit more context to the clip. Okay, well, let me play this other clip while I'm looking for it. Um... Let me see. Okay. 
What's this? Breakfast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm saying, bro. Everything got to have an 808 behind it. Most people who grew up in the church know this as truth. What do y'all think? Y'all mad, but he said what needed to be said. You just, you know, study, you go to school, you, you, and then you just become a pastor, like you become a manager at, you know, Publix or something yeah. like that. <laughs> and that's, that's unfortunate. Wait. Be Y'all mad, but he said what needed to be said. You just, you know, study, you go to school, you, you, and then you just become a pastor, like you become a manager at, you know, Publix or something yeah. like that. <laughs> and that's, that's unfortunate for a lot of people who invest their, you know, uh, money, time, attention, and their soul into people who they believe are literally called from God. I don't believe uh, a lot of pastors are. I think, I think it's a system now of God. It's a system. Everything is a system, and systems work with or without God. So I think the institution of church is whack. I think how church is ran is whack. I think the religious system and structure is whack. I don't subscribe to it, even though I grew up in it, I benefited from it, but I learned. I just, I don't think that was a, I don't think that was a platform to be having those type of conversations. What's this one? Things the black church is going to get mad at me for saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. Man, y'all check this out. I think it's a system now. Oh, God. Hold on. I always see this guy, but I'd never like sat down and watched one of his reactions before. Let me see what he's going to say. So he's reacting to the same clip that we just watched. The people, they're not about serving and loving the people. Listen, y'all, I'm going to make this as simple and plain as I possibly can. Simple and plain as I possibly can because Ty Tripping is Ty Tripping. Here's the deal. When you have made your living, when you've made your entire living off of the black church, when you are one of the biggest gospel stars ever, and you've made your living off the black church when you've fallen into sin, but it was yet the black church that picked you up and loved you and said, come on back in, bro. When you have now set yourself up as a pastor of a black church, you cannot, and I mean you cannot, go on a national syndicated show as big as the Breakfast Club, the biggest, with over 70 plus million people listening in. The majority, young people from the ages of 18 to maybe 35, and say that the black church is whack. You can't say that. I can say that. You can't say that. You can't say that. I just... Hold on. I guess he responded to it. I think the institution of church is... Oh my goodness gracious. Was there a response? I still, I, I okay, hold on. He responded. I guess he re uh, Ty responded to it. Let me see if I can find his, his response. Let me see if I can find his response without an 808 in the background. Because, <laughs> bro, I'm not trying to get a copyright strike. I, I, you know what I mean? Come on. I'm learning that God is not the church. Oh, he posted this on his. Now, oh God, it's a system. Everything. Is yeah, bro, this is exactly what I'm saying. This is like the perfect comment right here. Lady inspiration. So Lady Inspiration said, I absolutely understand what he's saying. However, saying this on this platform is highly irresponsible. That's exactly how I feel as well. It, you don't need to say that on that platform. It's like, it's just, you, you know those people in your life where you get into certain like, you know, you might be in a, a certain social situation and your friend or your brother, your sister, whoever it might be. They start talking to somebody and saying some some stuff to the wrong person. And it's like, bro, 
uh, why are you saying that to them? Like, I get it. I understand what you're saying. But why are you saying that to them right now? That doesn't, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it. Hold on. I want to see, I guess he responded, but I can't find his response. I'm on Twitter right now. Let me see. Uh, my goodness gracious. This is what happens when you uh, just, you know, turn the camera on. <laughs> this is what happens when you just turn the camera on and just hope that everything's going to work out. <laughs> um, What is this? We knew it was coming. I just didn't think it would be from this man. Pastor Mike Jr. rebukes Ty Tribbett and what he said about the church being whack. He said Ty Tribbett was ir- Yeah, we know that already, though. Okay, I don't know. I guess he didn't respond. Anyway, like I said, I understand what he's trying to say. There's a lot of churches out here. There's a lot of pastors out here that probably shouldn't be pastors. Um, there's a lot of churches who are just essentially like a, a, a Vegas res residency, you know, like a lot of these churches are acting like a Vegas residency and I get it. Um, and look, Jesus wants a personal relationship with you. Jesus wants a personal relationship with you. And a lot of people get into the churches and they get hurt. They get church hurt. They meet the wrong person. They meet the wrong pastor, the wrong leader, whatever it is. And then they take that experience and they act like that's a representation of God's character when it's not. That's just people being people. But like I said, the platform that he said it on, it was very irresponsible for him to say that on that platform, in my opinion. 